This is going to be a video tutorial on how to fill text with an image using GIMP. Let me uh, jump over to GIMP here. Okay, I have GIMP open now and I have an image here. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure that the background behind my image is transparent. I'm going to go off to the layers panel off to the right hand side here and I'm going to right click on the uh, image layer. And you want to make sure Add Alpha Channel has been selected. On mine it has been. But make sure that, that that is selected. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go off to the Tools panel on the left hand side and I'm going to select the Text Tool. The keyboard shortcut for the Text Tool is the letter T. I'm going to press the letter T on my keyboard to bring up the Text Tool. And now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to change the font. I'm going to place my mouse cursor over this uh, thumbnail right here. I'm going to hold down the left mouse button. And then I'm going to choose the one I'm going to use is sans serif bold. I'm going to use this one here. Then you want to uh, change the, the size of your uh, font. I'm going to go with 260, but it just depends on, you have to experiment. It just depends on uh, what your text is, how big your image is. I'm going to go with 260. I'm going to go off to my image on the right hand side here. I'm going to click anywhere basically on my image and I'm going to type my text. I'm just going to type text. Then I'm going to go over to the tools panel on the left hand side here and I'm going to click on the move tool. The keyboard shortcut for the move tool is the letter M. And This way I can position my text however I want it. I'm going to place it about right about there. Next thing you want to do, you want to go back over to your layers panel on the right hand side and you want to right click on your text layer and you want to choose alpha to selection. Alpha to selection. I'm going to click on that. Then you could uh, click on the eyeball here next to your text layer. The eyeball that hides your text. The next thing you want to do is right click on your image layer. I'm going to right click on the image layer and I'm going to click on add layer mask. Add layer mask. I'm going to make I'm going to click on selection. You want to toggle on selection. And then you want to go down to the bottom and click on add. Then the next thing you want to do, you want to go up to the Selection tab up at the top and you want to click on Selection and you want to click on None. Now you could always fine tune your uh, image behind your text by going off to the Layers panel and clicking on the uh, Mask layer here. Click right in here and then you can fine tune Your, uh, where your text is in front of the image. I'm going to leave mine about like that there. And then to save this as a transparent background PNG, what you want to do is go up to the File tab, click on File. Then you want to go down to where it says Export As. Click on Export As. And then here you'll choose the destination for your uh, image. I'm going to place my image in this folder here and you can uh, name your image up here at the top if you want to rename it. I'm just going to write uh, image underscore text is what I'm going to name mine. Then you want to go down to the bottom. You're going to have to save this as a PNG if you want the transparent background. Click where it says select file type and then you want to scroll down where uh, these are in alphabetical order. These are all the different file types that you could uh, choose from. You want to choose PNG image and then go down to the bottom down here and click on export. And then you'll just click on export right here. Then I'm going to open up my folder here and uh, Image text right here is the one that I just created. I'm going to double click on it 
and there is my text which is filled with an image. Thanks for watching.